Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, Holy Ghost, fall afresh. Let your anointing pour from the top of our heads to the bottom of our soul. Oh, Hashanai Ikonai Isyaladidia. Oh, good morning and welcome to Full of Grace Ministries. We're so glad that you stopped by today. Father God, our hearts are humble before you today. Oh, Hanai Ikonai Isyaladidia Shatai. Matthew 22, 37, Jesus said unto him, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy mind. The enemy is powerless over us. Guard our hearts, Lord Jesus, so that it can beat for you alone. Don't let us grow complicit uh, um, towards you are be lured to love anyone or anything more than you. Remove the idols from our hearts so that you alone command our utmost affection. Help us to love and forgive others as you have forgiven us so the enemy can get no foothold through hate or bitterness on our part. Uh, 1 Corinthians 13 and 7, bearing all things, believing all things, hoping all things, enduring all things. Finally, Lord, set our hearts on things above and on earthly things and, and not on earthly things. Help us to remember that you died for me and my life and our life and now hidden which Christ in God. Colossians 1 and 2, if you be risen with Christ, seek these things which are above, where sitting, uh, where sitting on the right, Christ sitting on the right hand of God. Set your affections on things above, not on things of the earth. Uh, increase our longing for heaven so this world holds no power over us. Almighty God, cover our our mind with the helmet of your salvation, reminding us constantly that we are your children and the enemy cannot mess with us. Fix our thoughts, Lord Jesus Christ, what I, on what is true, honorable, right, pure, lovely, and admirable. Uh, Philippians 4 and 8 and 9 says, Finally, brethren, whatsoever are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue and if there be any praise, think on these things, these things, those things which you have both learned and received and heard and seen in me do, and the God of peace shall be with you. Uh, don't let us copy the behavior of the customs of this world, but transform us into a new person by changing the way we think. Then we learn to recognize your will for our lies, which is good and pleasing and perfect. Hallelujah. Romans 12 and 2, and be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove what is good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Saturate our minds with your truth. So we are convinced that the answer are found in your word, not in this world. Hallelujah. Lord, keep the enemy at a bay by calming our emotions with the peace of your presence. Help us to follow your commandments and not worry about anything but pray about everything with a thankful heart. Offer up 
prayer request to you that you can give us the peace that no one can completely understand. A peace that will control the way we think and feel. Philippians 4 and 6 and 7 said, Be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplications with thanksgiving, let your requests be known unto God. And the peace of God, which passes all understanding, shall keep your heart and mind through Jesus Christ. Uh, Romans 12 and 1, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your body a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. Hallelujah. I know from your word that Satan, we know from your word that Satan cannot sift us like wheat or even lay a hand on us without your permission. So place your hedge around us that our body, your temple, can be preserved pure, holy, and healthy for you. First Corinthians 6, 19 and 20 Know you not your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost, which is in you, which you have of God, and you are not, we are not our own. For you have bought with the price, therefore glorify God in your body and your spirit, which are of God. Help us, Lord. Uh, to present our bodies to you daily. Block Satan's attempt to make us doubt that we aren't filthy and wonderfully made. Uh, Psalms 14, uh, Psalms 139, 14 says, I will praise thee, for I am filthy and wonderfully made. Marvelous are thy works, and that my soul knoweth well. We are yours, Lord, and we want to glorify you in our bodies. So keep us from Satan's attempt and temptations in this world and in our flesh to make us impure, to dress immod immodestly to make our bodies a showcase or advertisement for evil or self-glorification. Uh, as we pray that God, we will develop the fruits of the Holy Spirit in every area of our lives. You will be invincible through prayer to the one who seeks to tear you down and make us less like Christ. Uh, now, Father, we ask in the name of Jesus to give us an outpouring of the Holy Ghost each day, each of us daily. Let us be changed from glory to glory. Now, camp angels around uh, Pastor John and First Lady. Enrich them with the power of the Holy Ghost. Let them hear your voice daily speaking unto them what thus saith the Lord. Uh, pour out a triple anointing upon them each and every day. As they rise in the morning, they will feel the Holy Spirit invading their bodies, Lord. Uh, uh, and we just thank you, Lord, that they commit themselves as well as each team, team member daily for you, Lord God. We thank you. Father, we give you praise. We give you glory and we give you the honor in Jesus' name. Oh, hallelujah. We humbly praise you today, Lord. We give you praise in all things in Jesus' name. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you.